What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode number 19 of the Hardcore Group Iron Man series. I'm going to be starting this one out with a Spory kill. This is going to be my fourth KC. And hopefully we get a bucket from this one, three Catentine seeds and two Atta seeds. So I mentioned in the last one, the next thing I want to do is go from 60 to 70 smithing. Um, mainly for the levels, but it's also nice for when I'm doing Slayer so I can continually alk things. Um, where's my cash stack in here? So I have a total of 6.2 mil right now. It's going to cost around 3.5 to 4 mil to get this level. I said the exact same thing last time I did this, but I went to the Blast Furnace Worlds and I checked them and they're all bought out of Gold Wars. So I can't use the method of just buying from the NPC and then putting it straight on the belt. I actually have to spend the time going through the worlds and buying gold ore. I need a total of 8,200 to get from 60 to 70 smithing. I have 600 already from doing Konar tasks. So I need to buy about 7,600 more. This actually isn't gonna cost as much as I thought it was going to. I have all the gold ore I need and it cost me 2.7 mil to get all of this. It's probably gonna end up being around three mil with the coffer fees that I have to pay to do the blast furnace. But I do have all the ore I need, so I'm ready to start smithing. I wanted to show you guys this camera angle. So if you angle your camera like this, you can go into your bank here. And when I withdraw my gold ore, you can see I can already click on the conveyor belt over here. If you have it like zoomed in or something like this, you can't click on it. But if you get it to exactly the right camera angle, you can take the ore out of your bank and then click on it and it'll run over there. So it is 464,000 XP to get from level 60 to 70. And this method is about 350k XP per hour. So it'll take a little over an hour to finish. I will keep track of the XP rates though, as always, and show you guys what I got towards the end. Also really quickly, if you do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to help me reach my goal of 100k by the end of the year took no time at all 65 smithing already also if you look on the left side of the screen you'll see that i have my xp rates up i'm getting 370k xp per hour now i wanted to show you guys this method it allows you to collect your bars while running so you never actually stop it's just a continuous cycle that you can keep running through i said before you can set your camera angle up to click on the dispenser but if you set it up this way you're able to click on the far square that i have marked it's kind of hard to explain but you click on the dispenser and then right after you place your ore you click on the far square switch your ice gloves and this is where you're just gonna have to practice to get this right but you click on the dispenser at a specific time and switch your goldsmithing gauntlets and you'll see my character never stops i just continually keep running and you can also put your ore in the very bottom of your bank so when you go to deposit the bars you can take the ore out really quickly all right so here it is 70 smithing i have a lot more gp left than i originally thought i was going to let's go ahead and take all of my gp out of the coffer here and withdraw all of this and i have 3.2 mil left and i started with 6.2 so it cost me 3 mil Originally, I said it would be 3.5 to 4 mil, so it's nice to save some GP from that. This is a really random level to go for, but I have a ton of herbs in here from doing my herb runs. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get 60 herb really quick. I'm just going to turn all my Renar into Prey Pots since I'm going to need them for Slayer anyway. Well, this is um, unfortunate. I didn't really think this one through. I got one potion away from 60, and I was going to go to sleep and get it in the morning. And I was doing one last herb run before I got off, and I forgot that I'm going to get herb XP from cleaning my herbs so uh, I guess there's 60 herb lore. I still have about 200 more prayer potions to make, but from there, I really don't know what I want to do. I might go back to doing Slayer, or I might keep skill hopping. I'm not too sure yet. This is a massive level for my account, 85 farming. This means that I don't need to use pies to boost for hard contracts anymore. I'm also not going to be doing as many tree runs since for the most part, I'm going to be getting 85 to 99 farming just from doing herbs and collecting secondaries for 99 herb lore. I also decided to get another herb level since I had so many potions ready to make that is 61 and I still have a few more to go through. Okay, 62 herb. I have about 50 more super strengths to go through. I'm not going to be getting another level here. One more level and I'll be able to make super restores without a boost. So next up, I'm going to be doing King's Ransom so I can unlock Chivalry and Piety. Nice little easy quest out of the way and I also got 33,000 defense XP from that. So 13k away from 70. But now that that's done, I'm going to get myself geared up and I'm going to try to do the training grounds. Uh, not much to say for this. All of you know how this works already. Just every single time one of them spawns, you put them in an easy flinch spot. You turn your runoff, wait till their HP bar is gone, and then you just flinch every single one of them. It's a really simple fight. Hey, let's go. Knight's Waves completed. I should get a bunch of XP from this too. That is definitely going to push me to 70 defense. I don't think I'm going to get another level. That I actually just got an attack level too. Nice. So two levels from that. And I can now use Chivalry and eventually Piety when I reach 70 Prayer. With that done, I am going to be heading back to doing Slayer now. The only other break I'll be taking is when I get my first burst task. Just another usual level from Sand Crab 77 ranged. 
I didn't show this to you guys, but I went and got another task before I finished doing Slayer and I got Black Dragons. It was really good timing too because Zula messaged me saying that we're going to have the crafting level to make Black Dehod soon. So if I got one of these tasks, it would be worth killing the Black Dragons instead of the small ones to get the uh, Dragon Hide we need. So I'll be doing that here for my task. And there's a task over with that is going to be 12 Black Dragon Hides to go towards all of our sets. All right, Neve, give me something good here. 143 Greater Demons, never going to be upset with that. As I mentioned before, getting nature runes from these... Uh, shops is nearly impossible because everyone is buying them out but group iron men have a separate stock from all their accounts in the game and there is only i think four people at this point with over 1750 total and alfie is one of them meaning that he can use all four of the 1750 worlds to get full stock from the mage guild and that is a thousand nature runes so i asked him to do that for me and um i'll, I'll try to do the rest myself at like really weird times but just having somebody on your team that has access to be able to do that is huge Oh, and also, I have 9,500 gold bars to elk. This is enough to get me upwards of, I think, like 79 mage. Well, this is an interesting spot. I just finished the Greater Demon task, got a Black Dragon task, and now I have another Greater Demon task. It's so nice being able to slay with elks again. There is 75 magic. I'm also getting very, very close to another strength level. And there's the 71 strength. I'm also going to be getting another slayer level before this task is over. Level 65 slayer, which is also the level that you unlock dust devils. I haven't looked at like the, uh, the task weight that these are at Neve, so I really don't know how often I'm gonna be getting them. And a 73 hunter, almost 1 million total XP now, all from doing birdhouses. A 131 more blue dragons. I think for the most part, every blue dragon task I get is either a full prayer level or really close to a full one. Dang it, man, I need to start paying more attention to these levels. I have like my, um, my rune light tab on the side closed, so I don't know like my percentages to levels. But I just hit 76 hit points, and I'm also 5k away from a defense level. Hopefully, I won't miss that one. And 71 defense, 42 kills left to go on the task. There's another attack level, level 74. And once again, I forgot all of my alks. So I'm about to get another slay level. There is also something I want to talk to you guys about. But first, that is 66 slayer. So, um, towards the beginning of me starting Slayer, you guys probably remembered I said that I'd only be able to train strength on Turoth and Kurask. I was completely forgetting about the Arclight, and that is really good on tasks like Greater Demons and Blood Builds. The only problem is it takes three Ancient Shards to charge it into a thousand charges, and at this point, I only have four of them, so it's gonna be quite a while until I'm able to use that, like, pretty consistently, but over time, I'll be using the Arclight to train strength, and any other tasks that I don't use the Arclight on, I'll just be training Attack with the Whip, but up until that point, I'm still going to be staying on control. You know what? There's two minutes and 20 seconds until the system update, and I figure this might be the best time for me to try and get some nature runes, so I'm going to teleport out of here and see if I can get some nature runes from the shops when the servers reset. Well, at least I got a thousand more nats out of that, but I can say that pretty much everybody in the game had the same idea. The first world I have to had like 15 people in it, and the stock was gone instantly. <laughs> 72 strength. Also, I haven't shown you guys my combat level for a really long time. I'm up to 92.2 now. Uh, last time I showed it, I believe, was when I hit 85 and I started using Neve. 172 Blood Veld. Let's go. That's a task I like to see. Blood Veld Superior number three. Nice little 4100 XP drop. Uh, nothing from that one either. Well, there's another superior. If you look at my chat, you can see the message from the other one. This was almost back to back. Even without getting lucky from these, it's always nice to get a guaranteed totem piece. Level 72 defense. Dude, these tasks are so long with these bracelets. I just got 67 Slayer and I still have 48 kills left to go. And I've been doing this task for nearly two hours. Before I get another task here, I want to extend Blood Velds. I thought for some reason it was like 150 to 200 points to extend these. And even then I should have done it a long time ago since I have 440 points. Uh, so I missed out on that last task being extended, but now in the future, um, any Blood Bell tasks I get, I'll get like 250 on. So next task is, uh, yeah, that's uh, that one's definitely not happening. This is, I think, the second task I've had to cancel so far, and I got 172 Fire Giants. 77 hit points, and I'm also only 300 XP away from 75 attack. And there is a 75 attack as well. Always nice to see those messages broadcasted through the clan chat. Okay, well, I just realized that I um, need to start Desert Treasure to be able to get Dust Devil tasks. So I did 65 to 67 without even being able to get Dust Devils. So at this point, I am going to go and do Desert Treasure. There's a lot of um, pre-quests I have to do for it. And honestly, at this point, I'll probably just push for Barrow's Gloves as well before I go back to Slayer. Do you guys remember when I was struggling with Nature Runes? Well, there's 5,500 more from Alfie because he's doing ZMI. And that is going to put me up to, let's see, what am I at in here? 
7,300, and I have 7,400 gold bars, so I have enough to alk all of my gold bars now. And there is Death Plateau completed. Also, there's Troll Stronghold completed. And with this quest completed, I now have all the requirements to do Desert Treasure. I decided to start with the Smoke Diamond. For the most part, all of these fights are really easy. Third try on the chest easy game and there is the shadow diamond as well two more left to go this fight is uh by far i think the scariest for some reason the safe spot wouldn't work for me so i just had to face tank him and finally there is the ice diamond and now i can go and complete the quest there it is desert treasure completed also if you look up in my chat here i failed the pyramid two times not too bad i think on my uim i failed it was like eight or nine it was pretty bad uh, so i'll take two for sure three more quest points and i'm up to 143 now it's 175 to go for Barrow's Gloves. Uh, I still have like Romeo and Juliet and stuff left to do. So uh, for the most part, that's going to be the next thing I'm going for. So as you guys see, I am somewhere completely different. Never been here before, but you know what this means. I am going to be ending the video here. Show you guys all of our stats on the screen. We are back to rank one, even if it's by a few levels, it's cool to get. And as you can tell from the title of the video, we're all over 1600 total level now. I am 32 points away from being able to finish Recipe for Disaster. So I'm going to be doing a ton of quests in the next video and going straight for Barrow's gloves but yeah per usual thank you guys as always for all the support on these i hope you're still enjoying them and i'll catch you in the next one